what's up, everybody? I remember playing some softball in my youth, or technically should be called as baseball. I used to be pretty good at it. Played it for many years. But now, I just like to play ball in peace. Literally. Peace. Well, anyway, I'm here to do two movie reviews back to back. Um, the first one I'm going to review is one that I actually got around, around watching first. I gotta watch the other one before I can do the next review. Um, both films were released in the same year by the same company on the same kind of sport. What makes you think I have baseball mint in my hand? You know, that's why I'm doing the reviews right now. Even though we're heading into Thanksgiving soon, it's pretty too cold to play baseball right now. Um, but this film I'm going to be talking about is The Sandlot, the first one. Yes, there were sequels. I think there. I think there's only one sequel, but I'm not sure. But um, the first one you definitely should check out. Um, it's about it's about a boy who um, who moves to a new town and is trying to look for some new friends to make. So um, he he comes across a group of boys who play baseball like every day like during the summer, and he really wanted to join the team, but he's not very good at it. But then later he becomes very good at at the sport. But then. If this, is, if this is shown in the trailer, go check out the trailer, but most people know about this. Um, he throws the, he accidentally throws the ball over the fence um, to a, a, like, like a backyard or something, and it, where's this vicious, mean dog. So, and they have to, so they're basically they try to get the ball back before the dog they call the Beast, like, rips it apart, you know. It, it, it's just such a fun movie. It has a lot of memorable scenes in it, like there's a scene, um, See at the pool. There's a scene at the, at the carnival. You know, it's, it's it's. I always thought this was a fun film. I remember I used to have this film on VHS, but I never watched it much. It's pretty much my brother who watched it a lot because this is technically like a boys' film. But I actually kind of like these films, just as long as they don't gross me out. But I like this a lot. I like this much as Heavyweights and um, Ernest Goes to Camp. You know, I remember watching this like the, this film all the way through, from what I recall. Back in high school, we were watching a, a film in my class. It's, it's just a long story. I don't want to get into it, but it, it was it was such not a good time. But it was but but it was great to see this movie. And um, this film, um, if you want to go check it out, um, the DVD came out in 2013. The one I have here with this different cover, very different from the VHS tape that I used to have. Um, like the film's the film's now out on Blu-ray. It came out on Blu-ray last year to celebrate the film. 20th anniversary, and and the features on here on this DVD it has featurette, a trailer, and TV spot, and I'm sure there's other DVD, different DVD versions as well. I don't know if it's with the same features, but from what I heard, the Blu-ray has the same features as the DVD. So if you haven't seen the Sandlot, definitely check it out. So that's my review of the Sandlot, and um, be sure to tune in next time for my next review where I review another baseball movie, which again I have to watch. So. Until next time, I'm again playing ball in peace. Yeah.